little nervous. <laughs> Hi, I'm Alexis. I'm a sophomore from LSE. And this is my poem, The Tribulations of Sky, Moon, Earth, and Water. The sky so paled cried, drowning the poor brittle trees, snapping the branches from their trunk, apologizing with her lightning. She wished to go back to the universe, to go beyond the layers of atmosphere and hug the sun. The sky missed the sun more than the universe missed solitude, than words missed meaning, than the trees missed their branches. For Sky knew him when they were young, before time and loss fabricated itself into an idea, when Sky was still space and space was still empty. They used to play tag in backyard of light years, gleefully screaming into the existence of galaxies, but never hide and seek, for hiding from the sky was futile. But Sun never missed Sky, for Sky had left Sun willingly for Earth. Tiny and green, Earth a seed in the vast space of oak trees would never be as bright as sun, never as big, and never as important. Earth, one in a billion Earth engulfing sky in its atmosphere and moon in its orbit. The Earth had been eaten for the moon, gravity its apple, the Earth its serpent. Moon, a weary traveler, finally found the release of responsibility, resting her feet in the stream of gravity, but Earth's gravity turned into chains, the stream of roaring river. The moon forces it in the muddy banks of earth, tide rushing over her body, reaching past her mouth, but never her nose. So she never drowned, never lived, never roamed, never left. And moon, longing for mother universe, made home at the riverbank. Earth wanted to hold on to the one thing she could cherish. For even without freedom, moon comforted earth in ways water could not. Always held earth way <laughs> closer than the sky wanted to. So Earth could not let Moon go. She could not build that dam, could not plant the trees in the bank, and could not unchain Moon. Water's tide was the only time he could briefly collide with his mother, to give her her presence, to give her his presence. The waves against the sand and the sand flowing into the ocean. But water had been tired since the days the stars started to form, and exhaustion was as sure as the desolate riverbank. Moon and water set in a dance of light years, forever being trapped in the music of nature, tail-eating snake for as long as there were still trees. They reached for each other just for one touch, water becoming clouds to get closer, only to end up hearing sky's troubles. For closeness is impossible when you can't touch, so they agreed to be in each other's presence, to never leave each other and always stay, for even if closeness was impossible, companionship was not. The moon trapped in Earth's gravity and water's love. Earth trapped in selfishness and pity. The water couldn't sleep and the sky couldn't hug the sun. The tribulations of sky, moon, earth, and water. <laughs>